I am going to, I've just ordered the new starter kill team box and I ordered it from Gap Games. Uh, Gap Games is really awesome. I would advise uh, if you are Australian to please check out their website when buying any of your hobby needs. Um, this is a no um, paid promotion or anything like that. I bought this box. I just believe that they're such a really awesome place to buy minis and all other hobby sources. So, and believe it or not, that wasn't even scripted, even though it felt scripted. Man, I should write more scripts. Hmm. Anyway, let's get into it. So, first things first, I'm gonna open it. I'm not gonna show you the front of the box, of course, because it has my details. And I just, as much as I know a lot of you guys would love to meet me and all that, my own wife is still. Okay, so. And yes, I do have candles to add to the effects of feeling very retro. Now, of course, this isn't just the box as well. I did order the hard copy of Broken Crusade. I am listening it to audio, but when I do get a chance, I would like to read paperback from where I am on audio. So let's put this down here. Do not mind, the case behind me is for the guinea pigs. Yep, order from Gap Games. Stop it. Ah, here it is. Here it is, the box we've been waiting for, the Kill Team Starter Box. Now this is actually a pretty way box compared to the other ones, but that's because the actual, if you look on the back here, the actual train is MDF wood. So it's actually stuff that can be slotted together. This box, if you are getting into Warhammer 40k, um, and you don't like how 10th edition is because I really, 10th edition is just boring. I find it so boring. But on positives, Kill Team is your next best to go to. So Kill Team is a skirmish game. One, you're not going to be diving so much money into it, like buying thousands and thousands of points of army, of world eaters or any of the other factions. But no, you just buy basically one squad, and that squad is basically what you use for the skirmish game. Now, this is the starter box. All the model pieces, of course, are push fit, and the death guard here and the space marines here are actually in different colors of plastic, so if you don't even have the paints there. This is really actually handy because if you don't have snippers and all that, they're actually just able to pop out the sprues quite easily, and if you don't have glue even, it is also as well very handy. So, as normally with most terrain, what comes in these types of boxes, you normally have to paint it, glue it together and all that. This is slot fit and it unslots again so it can all fit nicely in the box. This is at a very affordable cost. You get two kill teams, you get the basic rules for the kill teams. And if you really want to, and you just want to stay with the basics instead of going further on by buying the kill team book and getting more into complex rules, this is perfect for just a nice afternoon session as well. And I hope to get the wife and son into this as well. Um, my son is a huge fan of the Ultramarines. Yeah, my, my, my three-year-old son is dead to me when it comes to Warhammer 40k because the first faction he preferred was Ultramarines. And his favourite colour is blue. And I did try him with other chapters such as the Crimson Fists and the Emperor's Spears, but he still likes the Ultramarines. Yeah, so... That one's pretty good. Um, so let's actually open this bad boy up. This is actually a really, really, as I said, way box before. Really don't really want to, I'm gonna have to just like cut one of the, there we go. Oh, we had it upside down. So this way up. Oh, you can smell that plastic already. And what I mean about the sprues is, here they are, push fit. That is already so cool. So, let's get the sprues out. You, of course, are gonna be getting, how many is it you get? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven operatives in each force. 
And they're all a different one. And because they're push fit models, and they're actually originally from um, 40k Heroes branch and all that, and a lot of people missed out on this. Like, this is the uh, Mythic Blight uh, caster model, what a lot of people missed out on. You can now have it because it's now in this box. And the best thing about it is, is that you don't have to worry about, in most sprues, oh, do I need to arm my guy with this and this and this? They're already armed in what they're meant to have to start playing the game. Oh, why is that? It just smells different. It smells like the new box smell, but it smells like buddings as well in the wood section. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> oh, that's actually a new smell. I love it. Okay, so let's get these out. So you got the Space Marine Heroes. These are all really well detailed, by the way. So you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. They're all they're all like different poses and everything, all different things. Okay, so we are getting this is is this the poster? I think this is a poster. Oh, this is a poster. This is getting added to my gym wall, as we all know. Uh, that is the original first strike from 8th edition. Then when you turn around, it is the new one for this edition. Uh, for, yeah. Oh! Why did they do this to me? So I think that will be... Ooh, actually, what is this? I think this is the MDF. The actual train that can get pushed out. And I think this is the board as well. That is really, really cool. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, they've just slotted it really so well. So, we've got the book, we've got the quick play rules, we've got the tokens. What are you? This is interesting. What are, what are you? Maybe that's the board, and this is the MDF. I don't really want to be opening things up because I am working. I do want to take my time. Oh, that's... Yep, it's the MDF. Wow, that is really thick. It's not like a cheap one. I remember in third edition of Warhammer 40k, if you were back in those days, I was like six years old, but I still remember it. For some reason, I have a very iconic memory when it comes to Warhammer. Wish I could do that with other things, but continuing on. That's MDF, that's pretty thick. This is pretty thick stuff. And look, it's already well detailed. That's like really beautiful. I like that. So if that's the MDF, that means, oh wow, it just slots back in. That's so really well packaged. That's really well packaged. Whoever, whoever designed this box again, chef's kiss, because I've opened boxes in the past and yeah. Okay, this one has the seal. Oh, we're gonna have to break the seal. I hate doing this because they make, they do such a nice job. They do such a nice job with this, but we'll make it a nice clean cut. Can we? You're not gonna let me do a clean cut, are you? There we go, finally got into the sticker. There we go, yes. As I expected, it is the MDF board as well, so. That's pretty handy to have. And that goes like that. This is really... Okay, so normally, whoever designed this box clearly wanted it to be the ability that you could get everything out of it, but put it back in. What's very rare, because I've found a lot of boxes in the past where you can't do that. Because normally, once this is what I was afraid of doing an unboxing, because I won't have time today. I might get my Death Guard kill team out and done, because they look so cool. And... Oh, they're just so lovely. I love the fact that it's one of my favourite factions is in the box too. Death Guard. Like, it goes, World Eaters, Death Guard. And if you are watching this, whoever made Kill Team boxes, can you please make a World Eater Kill Team? I don't care if it runs terribly on the game system. I don't care if it runs bad. Just, I want my World Eater Kill Team. <laughs> Okay, I want, I want the faction. I don't care if it's just all melee combat and I don't even get to shoot. <laughs> just the fact it was that. But this was made so you could put the minis back in because once we take out that and you resort it properly, you'll be able to put the minis back in. And this has clearly been designed 
to go with you. Anywhere. So say you go on holidays, you want a little game play, say your other partner's into Warhammer, um, mine isn't, she would rather not do this, but I'm going to try and get her to play one game of this, so that would be super exciting. But yeah, it is really nice. So you do get the sniper, you do get a intercessor, you get the captain of the power fist, the gravis armor with the heavy bolter, you do get a assault intercessor, you do get a, what are you? I believe he's the tactician guy, he's the one, the model with throwing the smoke grenade, and then also as well you get another one with a actually I believe that's not the heavy bolter, but it is the assault bolter where it's basically got the large magazine on it. Okay, Death Guard. We got the Plague Cut, well, actually the Death Guard Champion, Plague Caster, Standard Icon Bearer, and when I glue these together, I'll glue the models together, but I won't glue them to the bases, so when I do paint them, because their bases are detailed. Uh, it's like standard black bases. Uh, you do have, I wanted this guy, so badly, um, he's got the fl the flail with the three like things on it. Looks so cool. And then you've also got this guy as well, the bombier bombarder. Oh. Ooh, I'm not pronouncing words properly today. You got the one with the standard bolter, and then you got the flag spewer. So this is really well done. Um, let's actually have a quick look at this. So as I said, I don't really want to take it out. You do get. Your quick referral sheet, that's really well done. Your quick referral sheet for both factions, that's handy because normally if you only had the one referral sheet, you'd have to share it with your opponent. You've got your, okay, so that's different. So in the plus, um, the measurements were done with a plastic one because I've got the old Kill Team one. Uh, it was plastic, but this one is just standard cardboard. That's actually not that bad, tell the truth, because that means then I don't have to worry about painting it or making it look cool because the other one in the other Kill Team starter box was just plain plastic and I think if you had painted miniatures and all that, it would look a bit silly. So I've taken this out, let's have a look here. Diving into it, it, it seems, so of course you've got the universe of horrors, you know, just basically explaining it, how to put it together. There's one thing I think, I heard someone else who did the opening for this box said, oh there was a painting tutorial in here. Um, that's not true. There's no painting tutorial. Um, this is made for a starter set because one, Death Guard are in green plastic and the uh, Space Marines are in blue pack plastic. And it teaches you how to set up your models, teaches you how to play. So does it actually jump straight in with you using all the models? No, it doesn't. And it uses acronyms as well, but next to the acronyms on the battle plan, they actually do tell you. So in the first one, you would use the Space Marine Captain, the Intercessor Warrior, and the Heavy Intercessor Gunner with the Plague Marine Champion, Plague Marine Warrior, and Plague Marine Fighter. So that's actually interesting that the straight away letting you use kind of different things. And then they explain the dice rolls, how it works. This is really well done. Is this just still? for the first match. This is still for the first match. This is all the information. And then they give you a training scenario, two on two. So what was that one? That's the introduction scenario. So we have an introduction scenario, then we have a training scenario. Then we have a move, move, move scenario where um, it uses a whole heap of different minis. I like the fact that they're going to make you use different minis. And they take turns. Because in that previous scenario, there was four Death Guard versus three Space Marines, but in this scenario, there's three Space Marines versus two Death Guard. So, yeah, no ammo, no mercy. That's some. I love the names they put on these as well. They're so cool. Um, yeah. Is there something at the end? Oh, here's an ask. Final mission! And yet, in the final mission, that's where they're going to treat it as a proper um, thing. And tutorial, additional rules. Oh, wait! No, I was wrong! Oh, that's bad! That's bad on me! There's... That's interesting! Okay, hang on. It's not really a painting tutorial, like it was mentioned. 
And I haven't seen this because no one actually bothered. So they do mention the Kill Team paint set, which I am definitely going to have to get. I have not seen that gone thing sale yet. And the color indication. It's not for every model, but you can work off this. That is really good. That, they've used minimal amount of things. Um, ah! However, I think this is the one from Warhammer TV, um, how they paint them, because do not feel like you're going to be able to um, know whether, it doesn't tell you exactly where the colors are. It points to the colors, but with the wash, oh wait, does it? No, it, hmm. It doesn't tell you where to apply things. It really doesn't tell you, unless you just do Afric Earth Shade over the whole model. I think you do Afric Earth Shade over the whole model because you'd have to look at the painting tutorial for that. But yeah, they use everything in the box from the paint set. I want to get that paint set just for the sake of doing it. That is really cool. And I love it how they use Nikila Ox. Is that actually in the paint set? It is! A technical paint used for um, the rust, like the ox, no, not rust, oxidization. They're actually being really smart with this. They're using it in some aspects of the um, Balthasar Gold for the trim, but they're also using it for the candles on top. They're using it for the plasma gun, what I've never seen being used for paint. And then also as well, if you do want to slay the competition, they do say, look, you've got the cards, you've got the equipment, and then they've got the sell point for the other kill teams. Now, I downloaded last night the Kill Team app on my phone. If Games Workshop is watching this, please keep that aspect of just the basic rules for the kill teams free, because that is also chef's kiss. I love the fact that I can see each kill team, see how they kind of work, and make my decision before buying which one I would like. Because in the end, let's be honest, Games Workshop, you're going to be making money. I, I probably will be buying multiple kill teams in the end of the day because it's squads. So I'm, I'm moving more to kill team. But they do show the Blades of Khan, the Space Marine Scouts, the Nemesis Claw. I want the Nemesis Claw. I want the Night Lords. I had a quick read of it. It's so law. Why is kill team more law accurate in how they play than Warhammer 10th Edition? In this, the Death Guard feel like Death Guard. But in 10th edition, Death Guard do not feel like Death Guard. Trust me on that from comparing the rules just recently in my live stream, talking about how codexes have become less law in it and more rules, but even the rules aren't kind of working where the army used to work like. You've got the Mandrakes, you've got the Brood Brothers, you've got the, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce it, but it's the Dwarf Dudes. And then of course you've got the big one. So yeah, they've got like things you can scan. This is really well done. So there is a painting, okay, so I was wrong. There is a painting thing, but it's not really a painting thing. Um, I think you would need to watch Warhammer TV because I did remember seeing that on there and it doesn't really explain much. But yeah, that's actually interesting as well. In the Keel Team paint starter set, they give you both Retributor Gold and both Balthasar Gold. So Retributor Gold for your Space Marines, Balthasar Gold for your Things that, that normally you don't normally see that. Normally you just see either one type of gold, like kind of goldish look with the lead belcher. But they've added both, so that's really, really good. And I just bought, you know, some Death Guard spray paint, so I'll be able to spray paint that mini and get them painted. But just the way they do it as well, like that's 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 tabletop ready, but even tabletop ready, I love it. I will paint them in that standard because it looks beautiful. Oh, that just looks nice. So yeah, that is my unboxing of this box. My thoughts on this, just having a quick overview, having a quick overview of the rules. This is the bee's knees. If you want to start Warhammer, but you're not wanting to spend lots and lots of money into it, because let's be honest, by the time you buy your codex, your paints and everything, you're putting a bit of decent money into it. And the fact that the army, if you want to paint your army, you're going to put decent time into it. Um, and also as well, this is the new edition of Kill Team, so you can't really go wrong. This box is self-efficient as well. 
you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. You're getting some two beautiful design kill teams. Um, you don't even have to paint them because they are the different colors for so you can see who's who on the on the tabletop. But if you do want to paint them, there is actually an official paint guide um, which shows you where the paints are meant to go, but also as well a paint set to make it so you don't have to buy these paints individually. What is very cool, very cool, I did not know they had a paint set, so I'm going to have to look online for that because that's going to be my next purchase. Buying that paint set and maybe buying either the Legionnaires, whether the Chaos Space Marine box of um, Kill Team or the Night Lords. So, because I'm a Chaos player, I love Chaos. Um, but yeah, this is really well done. Um, as I said, look, I'm going to put it all back in. Normally in the past, I'd have a bit of fear about trying to get everything back in the box, but... Because normally you wouldn't be able, once you got something out, you wouldn't be able to fit it all in properly. Let's just hope I'm correct. Slips in perfectly. This, and then I just box this up. This, as I said, get this box if you want to get into the Warhammer 40k. Because I know there's a lot more people want to play it now because of the rumors of Amazon with the um, 40k series and also as well Space Marine 2 as well. People are really wanting to get into this and it's got Space Marines. Actually, I feel like because it's more operative orientated, it feels like the operators, what you have from Space Marine 2. And you basically get those models from Space Marine 2. You've got the sniper. The only model we're really not having there is the Vanguard. Um, or the um, Bollock. Shield and sword and everything. But like, it just feels nice. It's, it's a quick game because I believe how you play it is you take a turn for model, they take a turn for model, you take a turn. It's very different from Warhammer 40k where you have to wait um, 10 to maybe even 30 minutes for them to finish their whole round of their playing. And don't forget, if they're rolling really good dice, you can lose your whole army in one turn before you even have a chance to play. Doesn't sound fun. This sounds more fun. I'm hearing a lot of positive feedback when it comes to playing kill teams. Um, I think this is basically now the go-to. Um, it's cheap, affordable, and then also as well, you don't have to worry about buying more for that faction. You can then start a new faction kill team and buy that one and then just have matches at home. I, I, my biggest thing is I'm probably going to buy multiple kill teams and I'm going to have like one whole section dedicated on my shelves in my home gym where I also keep my Warhammer stuff just for kill team and bring this out because it's quick. Um, I've seen the games only go for like... Normally they mention it on the back how long the games normally go for standard wise. I've read that it's like 30 to 45 minutes per game. Like a proper kill team game. Like the tutorial ones you'll go quick, right? But the proper one, yeah. Compared to like three hours. Like if you're a parent like me and you do gym and shift work, I've got places to be. This is the perfect box. Please go buy it. Um, if you want a discount and you're Australian, please check out Gap Games. This isn't me being promotional. This is me just giving you some words of advice, okay? Anyway, you have an awesome day. And I will basically, when I do post this on Instagram as well, I will also put um, ad as well, get games in it so you can then check out their website because, yeah. I think they're out of stock now because this box did sell out quick, but they're very quick at restocking and they're really wonderful. And if you do have any questions, they do get back to you um, in a day of notice when responding to on Messenger, either on Facebook or on Instagram. They're really well. Um, I've met the owner a couple of times and he's a really nice bloke. So, yeah. That's my review for Kill Team. Start set. It's just a good box. But also as well, to make it like the chef's kiss, please add a world eater Kill Team. Anyway, you have a good one. And as always, for the Emperor.